Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you are into Halloween cosplay, creating costumes, as much as I am, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank and maybe even using some items you already have at home. I have been on an easy costume kick lately, lucky for you, and today we're going to be doing one of the easiest costumes. We will be recreating Natasha Fatal from the classic animated series Rocky and Bullwinkle. Now some of you, a lot of you actually have asked how I do the facial prosthetics with the Crayola Model Magic modeling clay and in today's episode I'm going to try and film more of that for you so that you get a better grasp on how to do it so that this Halloween you can try it for yourself. Let's go ahead and get started. Today we are recreating Natasha Fatal. Oh my goodness, I've spoken about easy costumes. I've had a few this year that were really easy. This one takes the cake. We've got just a purple tube dress, which I actually bought on Amazon for $22. Why it was $22, I don't know. It's the simplest thing. You can totally make a tube dress yourself. Just get a stretchy fabric, go to Joann's Fabrics or whatever fabric store you have, and you literally just cut it into a tube and sew down the seam with it inside out and then flip it right side in, you'll have your tube dressed. It's, it's just so easy. But the cool thing is, if you're doing Marge Simpson, they had this dress in lime green as well. So if you need a Marge Simpson dress, Amazon, look up tube dress and there it is. You can get one for Marge or one for this costume and you'll be all set. I've got some drop earrings because it looked like that's what she's wearing. These are actually angels. They were made for me by a friend. Uh, my mom passed away of pancreatic cancer and purple is the color for pancreatic cancer awareness But no one needs to know that when I'm being Natasha Fatal. They are drop earrings and that's what she was wearing I'm gonna use those. I already had them We've got a fake cigarette and a cigarette holder. I don't know what the names of these things are I just call them a cigarette holder <laughs> some black stiletto shoes. I got these I've already used them for costumes, so I already had them and felt now if you watched my Morton Salt Girl costume video, I was bound and determined to make a wig out of felt. And this time for this costume, I am going to make a wig out of felt. It's going to be very cartoon looking, one dimensional, and that's what I'm going for. So let's get started. There it is, folks, the finished product, Natasha Fatal. The main thing is this wig. Now, y'all know if you've been watching my channel, I've been dying to make a felt wig this year, and I finally did it. This is, it turned out great. Look at the back of it. Now, this technique would work for Marge Simpson as well. Or if you're going to be a mermaid, you can do felt scales on your mermaid tail. Felt is a great medium to use for Halloween costumes because it's cheap. It loves hot glue. You know, you're not gonna have to do a lot of sewing, so you can hot glue 
uh, everything together and it's awesome. Now if you are creating stuff with felt regularly, save all of your scraps because I used a lot of scraps that I already had for this and only had to buy three sheets of felt. I do like the felt that's in the sheet more for this application. It's a little more sturdy than what you can get by the yard at a fabric store. Just, just a tip. And then I did use a little bit of my fleece as well on the top here. So it's, fle it's fleece and felt, but it turned out really good as you can see. And of course I'm gonna wear white stockings and I'm gonna be painting myself white. She's very fair. In some photos she looks white and some photos she looks real fair, but just to be all matching, I'm gonna do the white. Let's get started with our makeup. It's makeup time. And a lot of you out there have been asking me how I do this, these prosthetics with Crayola Model Magic. And today I'm going to be making my prosthetics with the Model Magic. I'm gonna try and show you as much of what I do so that you can do the same. It saves you a ton of money and you can use it. It's a use once thing because it's gonna kind of dry while it's on your face and while you're wearing it. But you can use it for several different times. Like a bag of it will last you for different costumes and it's like $4 at my foam latex prosthetics can cost you anywhere from $25, I paid for a simple pig nose for Miss Piggy, up to 50 and and more, depending on what you're getting. 50, 100, you know, they're great and they look awesome, but it's not in everybody's price range to do that. So try the Model Magic, I know you'll like it. It's very lightweight on your face. You'll be able to still move your face. See, I've got a little bit of shape going on here. Um, I'm doing a chin piece because her chin is kind of pointed. So I'm just basically molding it a little bit. Then I'm going to stick it up here. Okay. It doesn't look like anything yet. You know, I'm just molding it to my face. And once I have a bit of a shape around my chin, I'll add some glue and then I'm going to form it even more. See this? I'm just going down with it. I l see when it rips like that, that's actually good. Because that'll make, make it blend really well with your face. You will be using some liquid latex as well. So when it rips like that, it's actually a good thing. Because it makes the ends very thin. I just ripped the rest, see? That way you can blend it in real good. I've got enough here. It's pretty thick. So I've got enough here to form that into a point. And I'm just... I'm just doing it with my fingers. I've used this for several of my costumes this year. I do every year. It's just a really good medium to use for a prosthetic. It works great. You'll be very pleased with the outcome. You do kind of have to put it on your feet. See that? I just molded it with my fingers and that's what it became. She has a very pointed chin. Once you have it about to where you want it, you're going to add some spirit gum. Just put very liberally the spirit gum on the inside here so that it obviously will stick to your face. <laughs> I, I don't think on the other videos I really showed much of what I was doing, but I think I didn't because it's just so easy to do. You just put it on your face, you let your face be your guide to mold it. Everybody's face is shaped differently and I'm gonna do the same with my cheekbones. So we're gonna have a little bit of prosthetics for this one made with the Crayola Model Magic. And you can get this at any Michaels craft store or they may have it at Walgreens and Target. Most places that sell crafts, I think you can buy it online, Amazon, just wherever you can buy craft supplies. You can buy it, usually. <laughs> so, and it's great. <laughs> I've been using this for years. Several of my costumes this year, Emmett Kelly, the Snow White Witch, I could have probably made a pig nose for Miss Piggy, but I went ahead and bought a prosthetic for that. And I'm probably gonna be using it for a couple more costumes this year. So I'll try to make sure I'm putting those on camera for you so that you can try this yourself. It's gonna save you a ton of money. And you do have to have a little skill, you know, be a little artistic, but not that much. Look, all I did was a little point <laughs> and it's done. So it's, it's pretty easy to work with. I'm just pulling all the excess, that's gonna make a very thin edge to blend. 
kind of get get where I'm going with that. Yeah, I, I guess some things I just don't. I, <laughs> I've been doing it for so long and it works so well for me. I kind of forget to show you how to do it, but it's so easy that too that I'm just like, you know, they can figure this one out. <laughs> Once you have it on and it's glued well and you've got your edges the way you want them to be, nice and thin, you're just going to take your liquid latex. I have some white liquid latex here from Mayron. Latex, I want to say, no matter what company you go with or brand you go with, it's kind of about the same and it's not real expensive. You can get it from your Spirit Halloween or your local Halloween costume shop should have it. Mayron has their own and Ben Nye has their own. So wherever you want to get it from, it's definitely a good product to have in your Halloween arsenal. It's going to make all of your latex pieces, foam latex pieces, or clay blend in. Now that I have it kind of the way I want it, we're going to blend with the liquid latex. Rocky and Bullwinkle is an old cartoon. I can remember as a kid watching it on Cartoon Network or something, and my mom seeing me watching it and going, oh wow, I used to watch that when I was a kid. It came out in 1959. It was November 19th in 1959, and it was very popular. So if you are doing this costume, Natasha Fatal and her boyfriend, Boris Badenov, in the cartoon, they were kind of like the cartoon Bonnie and Clyde, <laughs> you know? And people will know this costume, especially the way I'm doing it. I've only seen a couple of them, of the costumes online. Not, not a lot of people have done it, so that's another cool thing is that it would be unique. You're just gonna blend all the way around. If you are like me and you like vintage, it'd be a cool one for sure. She's definitely got the kind of old school 1950s pinup thing going on and she'd be fun to do. Now we just let that dry. When it's on, you can kind of move it around, shape it more, whatever you want. It's still wet. I don't dry these pieces typically before I put them on. I think I may have in the past, but you don't need to. And it actually makes it better because when it's on, you can shape it a little more if you want to. Straighten it up, even, even it out, whatever you need to do. For Natasha Fatal, I have Mehran Paradise in white and this great color that I love. It's the Mehran Paradise in Brilliant Blue BB. I've got black liquid liner. I've got white liner. And I'm going to wear a deep red lipstick. So while that's drying, we'll do our cheekbones. This might be enough. I'm not going to do super crazy. Just a little bit of height in my cheekbones to give her that Natasha Fatal look. I'm just molding it. That's it. I took this little piece that I had that was left over from the chin. I picked up the crumbs <laughs> and I molded it. And that's how I'm going to do that. If you're doing Maleficent, the Angelina Jolie version, you need some cheekbones. This is great for that. Anything you want to enhance that you would normally use prosthetics for, especially just stuff like this, extending your chin, extending your nose, giving yourself some cheekbones. Anything like that, it's good. So I'm gonna try and kind of mock what I did here with another piece so that they're not too crazy different. <laughs> I was supposed to do this costume on Sunday and life happened again. I'm doing the best I can, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've got a full-time job now and I'm just having a little, hard, a little bit of a hard time balancing everything. I'm okay, nothing crazy happened, it's just I am married and my husband wanted to play on my two days off and I just didn't get around to doing everything I needed to do. The costume was almost completed, but I just didn't have enough time. And frankly, there aren't enough hours in the day to do everything I need to do. Instead of making promises, I'm going to just tell you I'm going to do the best that I can. This year, I don't anticipate missing any more days, but sometimes things happen. I will. I will tell you this, you will have a costume every week. <laughs> and two, if if we're if everything's going right. I'm gonna make this one a little shorter. Next year we'll be we'll be more on track. I hope nothing crazy happens for next year. It's just started out with a bang. <laughs> I was like way ahead and I had videos uploaded and ready to go, like eight of them. 
so far ahead and then the knee injury occurred <laughs> and I couldn't film for like a while and yep so that didn't happen but I'm planning for that for next year maybe I shouldn't speak it out loud <laughs> so I might jinx myself all right so once I have it about like that I'm gonna go ahead and get my spirit gum on Another thing about prosthetics is it may not look the same for you. Like I said, everybody's features are different. So maybe I was thinking, you know, I can do this on camera, but their piece may not look exactly like mine. But you can kind of see how I'm doing it. I kind of just stumbled upon this stuff on accident. Um, I've been using it ever since. My new job, I'm cooking at an assistant living facility, right? <laughs> And I love it. I love it so much. That's actually the reason why I've missed a couple episodes. <laughs> because I, I prioritize that. You know, for one thing, it's it's a paying gig. <laughs> for another thing, I'm actually doing what I got a degree in. That cost me 85 grand. So, and it's paid off, by the way. <laughs> I just, I'm cooking and I, and I love cooking. I think it's such a great outlet. It's so creative and I have great bosses that I love and I'd do anything for and the thing is they appreciate me I feel appreciated I've never felt appreciated before at a job that's important because they appreciate me I want to do so much more for them if that makes sense whatever I do is never enough because I just want to always be that person for them and really appreciation if you're out there and you're a boss or something it's a ripple effect if you appreciate somebody they're gonna work that much harder for you. It's true. Like I've never felt appreciated anywhere and I've always had the same work ethic, especially in an environment where I was cooking, but they don't care about you. They really don't care. You're there to do a job. It's almost beneath them to appreciate you. And this place isn't like that. It's like family and it's really awesome. I've really never been so happy in my professional career. I will be with them for as long as they'll have me. <laughs> but anyway, so today <laughs> I have to get this TB test to work there and everything. So I didn't even know that was a thing. Like I've seen it in movies and stuff. I thought they nipped that one in the bud. Like you see, isn't that what she had in Moulin Rouge? Anyway, I, <laughs> I thought that was like a thing of the past, but I had to get a TB test and they call me in the middle while I'm gluing down my eyebrows. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, do I have to come today? Because at first they gave me the option. We can see if he'll come on Tuesday if it's too late notice. I called him back real quick. I'm like, yeah, sounds like it's too late notice. They were like, too bad. You're coming in. <laughs> so I was like, okie dokie. But during Halloween, they should know that Halloween is like a box of chocolates. And you never know what you're going to get. So if you want me coming in on my day off. You might be surprised. So I showed up just with my eyebrows glued down and everything. <laughs> They're lucky they didn't call me about an hour later. <laughs> that would have been really wild. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Now this has a little bit of a thicker edges. I'm just gonna pat them down. Make sure they're glued real good on the outsides. And I'm gonna show you, cause I think it'll blend in fine. I'm going to show you how I blend this when it has a little bit of a thicker outer edge. Because I'm afraid to lose some of my cheekbone if I blend it too much. Because I'm going to be patting it down. Just adding a little bit of spirit gum right here where it's coming up. And I'm going to add some liquid latex around the edges. And I'm also going to give my chin another coat. With the liquid latex, you can pretty much apply as liberally as you want. It's just gonna get better you know more blended and it goes on white kind of dries clear all right let's go ahead and try to blend these cheekbones in it does dry fast so you're gonna want to kind of get this latex on as quickly as possible you can always do another coat you don't want any lumps you want to get it on there pretty smooth That gives me more of the Natasha Fatal face. And once this is dry, you can just paint over it. You can paint over it with your Mehran Paradise. I think I was reading online and it said when Rocky and Bullwinkle first premiered, November 19th, 1959, 
that it actually was set up to air either be right before or right after American Bandstand, which was huge at the time. I think, what's that Dick Clark show? Dick Clark, I think, did it. And it actually had better ratings than American Bandstand. So at one point, Rocky and Bullwinkle was like the go-to cartoon. Everybody loved it. And they've had movies made and stuff like that too. Evidently, I was just looking a little bit into it. There are movies out there that were made, or at least one. <laughs> and now I'm being a bit of a critic, but in my opinion, the movie character did not look anything like Natasha Fatal. Like, it's a movie. They have the budget to do a little bit better. At least to make her look kind of cartoony or something. And her and Boris in the movie looked kind of very normal. Even if they looked normal, do normal but out there. You know what I mean? And they look <laughs> too normal. I don't know if you feel the same, but that's how I feel. I would have tried a little harder on that. All right, while that's drying, I'm gonna start whiting my face. And I'm going to do my upper body white. So my face, my neck, my hands, everything. Before I forget, I got a TB shot. <laughs> I gotta cover it up with a Band-Aid. I mean, this was really like the worst day to do this, but here it is. They're lucky I have a Band-Aid obsession and I have like every size shape. <laughs> I am obsessed with Band-Aids, I always have been. I think they're cool. <laughs> they have all the different designs and stuff. This one's perfect size for my little shot. See that? See that? I'm gonna paint right over it. 72 hours I'm supposed to not get this thing wet or anything. I'm going, what? That's crazy. And I'm gonna wait until that's good and dry before I paint over it. Of course, with the paints, you're gonna want your little bowl of water and <clears throat> Your sponge, these are water activated paints for your face. One of these days I'm gonna try these uh, liquid paints they have. I haven't had the, uh, the cojones to try it yet, but they go on really well and I'm really interested in that. So that's what I will be buying with uh, my Christmas gift cards this year and my birthday's coming up. So I have something special in store. If you recall, Last year, if you've been with me for a while, on my birthday, I was Madonna from the Like a Virgin video, very specific, and I went to karaoke that night and sang Like a Virgin. I'm gonna be doing something similar this year. But you might have, you might need to guess who I'm gonna be. It's gonna be our celebrity costume this year. I'll take guesses down below. What do you think I'm going to be? Only a couple people know. So we're whiting our face. Let your cheekbones dry. Don't do that yet, but you can do everything else. It takes a little bit to dry. You don't want it tacky when you're trying to put your makeup on because it will stick to the makeup sponge and try to come off. I think under my neck is pretty dry. And you can not you can paint over the Crayola Model Magic. You can paint right over that too. Another reason why I love it. <laughs> it's very friendly for costumes. I am painting my ears. And you know what I'm probably gonna do? some Ben Nye and Licorice Black. Yeah, here. And I'm gonna make some V sideburns with this using a note card so that they're both the same. I'm gonna do that. Cause I did not make sideburns for my wig and that'll look good. The V shape was actually in, in the 50s <laughs> and 60s. We're good, I think. I got some Ben Nye Neutral set I'm going to be adding as well to the finished look. This is just a white translucent powder that sets the makeup and this stuff's pretty awesome. And if you get just like this size, it lasts you forever. I've had it forever. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's keep going, shall we? All right. Let's see. I got these earrings that I'm going to wear for her. I don't know if I should put them in right now. I'll put them in in a minute. I don't want to forget them. Don't let me forget them. They're little angels. My friend made them for me. After I lost my mom, they're little pancreatic cancer awareness angels. But she had these drop earrings and I was like, these are perfect. They just have wings. I'm going to use them. <laughs> 
I'm gonna use them. So you're just gonna paint right over your pieces and everything. Paint over it. I could have probably uh, pulled on the edges and thinned it out and made it a little more blended. Or I could always add more liquid latex if I want. But it's looking pretty good. And in photographs, it's gonna look good. Cause I'm not going out in this tonight. You will be. So remember, if it's not blending quite, just add more liquid latex, let it dry. You know, if it's not blending the way you want to. Or you can thin out the edges more like we did with the chin. Thinking about doing a video now that I have a couple ways to do a Marge Simpson wig. Thinking about doing a video, just making a couple of Marge Simpson wigs in different, different ways. You can do it with the felt or you can do it with cotton balls, which is what I did last time. And both ways will look awesome. But now you kind of have an idea of how to make a wig out of felt. And all you would do is just create a piece that fits around your head, but you're gonna make it real long and then you're gonna sew it and put it on a mannequin or something that you can work on it with. Um, you can even leave it flat on the table, but you know, just start gluing, hot gluing those felt circles. And I don't know, I haven't looked into it. They might make different colored felt circles that you can buy already made if you want. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked into that. I added a little more liquid latex and I'm letting that dry. And then I'm gonna paint over it. Just like you can do at home. Now since I'm not I'm not going anywhere, but I still want it to look good for you guys. Sometimes I get lazy and I don't I don't add any more. <laughs> so I don't, I don't wanna waste any more product for I'm just I'm literally gonna take pictures and then I'm taking it all off. I should at least go out to eat or something, you know? <laughs> but I don't. I'm gonna line my waterline with white. This is a white Ben Nye cream pencil, but you can really use any pencil. And I think we're also going to do a little bit of a line underneath to make our eyes look bigger. Just like we've done for the Snow White Witch and Pinocchio, I think it was. Pinocchio. Yeah. We've done that a couple times this year already. Well, let's get on our, with our eyebrows here. She's got a hell of a unibrow. So after that, I'm going to finish whiting. I'm going to let this dry really good. This is kind of my like my last application of the liquid latex, so. And that works, just like white out. Cool. I'm just gonna roll with what just happened there. Now we gotta do our unibrow. It's similar to like when we did the Sea Witch or even uh, Snow White Witch. Our eyebrows are very similar to that, except for the unibrow part. <laughs> And it looks a little crazy right now. All right. I think this one's running out. I'm just using this one to outline. <laughs> and when I have my outline, I'm just gonna fill it in. This is what we're trying to achieve. And you can clean up, you should be able to clean up your lines with this, with a white pencil if you want to. She does have some bushy eyebrows, but that was popular back in the day. Bushy everything. <laughs> all natural. <laughs> so now we're going to do our other eyebrow. You're basically following the same as this side. And all right, now that that's dry, I'm just going to be putting a little more white on there. I am going to put some powder as well. You can put as much of the liquid latex on as you want. Me personally, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm done with the liquid latex now. But if you keep layering it on, it'll blend better and better, so. But with the, once you put the, the powder on, it blends pretty good. And again, this sets your makeup. And anytime you're gonna be going out in your makeup, you're gonna wanna have some Ben Nye Final Seal or Mayron Barrier Spray. Both companies make it, it sets your makeup, and you don't have to worry about it really coming off until you're ready to take it off. Next thing we're gonna do is start work on our eyes. And I'm gonna do this little bit of a line, I think, underneath. And I'm gonna have my sort of cat eye meet up with this. 
But first, we have to do our our blue eyeshadow, which we're going to do with this Mehran Paradise Brilliant Blue BB. For her, I'm going a little outside the eye because I'm going to do a cat eye going up. If you're used to wearing heels, that's the only thing that's kind of uncomfortable about this costume is heels. I can't really wear heels. <laughs> they hurt my feet so bad. <laughs> like it has to be a platform. If I'm gonna wear any kind of heel, it has to be a platform. Cause if it isn't, then I'm in pain. The shoes I have chosen are a kind of stiletto <laughs> and they are not my cup of tea. You should see me walking in them. It looks painful. <laughs> Now I'm just going to do the same to the other eye. Then we'll do our blue eyeshadow. I am going to wear eyelashes for this one. I think it's necessary. Here we are. I've gone off camera to paint my body, my upper body, and put on my dress. And we're getting there. So I've got another sponge here. I'm going to do my blue eyeshadow with this sponge. Don't mind the paint. It's just stained. <laughs> Some of these paints will stain your sponge. This blue is brilliant. I love it. <laughs> It is called Brilliant Blue BB. Just gonna be putting that on our lid, like so. I've got the sponge pinched to get a little bit of a finer, uh, you know, more control on it. And that is that. And then we're gonna do our other eye. I got a little down below, but that's okay. I can fix that real fast. I just wanna kinda make them even. With my white cream pencil, I'm just going to fix what I just kind of messed up here. Now it's time for some cat eye action. I'm going to make it dramatic. Did I tell you I wasn't even going to do Natasha Fatal? She was not in the schedule at all. And I found this purple dress and it's kind of outrageous. It's a long sequined mermaid gown and i knew that there was a cartoon character that wore purple and i could i could place her i could see her in my mind but i i was trying to figure out i, I said i think she's from rocky and bullwinkle and i looked her up and she wears purple but it's just this little tube dress so i'm like okay that's not gonna work but i will be probably using that for a different costume this year hopefully because I found it and you'll see how crazy it is. It's so awesome. And it was $34 at the thrift store. You weren't with me on that shop, but it just was something I couldn't pass up. That's what we're going for. <laughs> and then we're gonna do some mascara. And then I'm gonna do my other eye and put on my eyelashes. We are here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my little sideburns I was telling you about. I made a little just note card and I'm gonna put it where I want it. I just had it where I wanted it. All right, just like that. I've got my black Ben Nye Aqua and I'm creating a little sideburn action. Alright, let's see. Like so, darling. I'll do the same to the other side. I'm getting into my hair, but I don't really care. I'm actually gonna even go around a little bit with the black around my hairline. There's that. I'm gonna put my earrings in. My little drop earrings I've got. And then I gotta do my lipstick. And I have this really great color. This one's called Gaze. I don't know what company makes this. I'm not really sure. It says cream. Is that the company? I have no idea. I'm not very good at that stuff. Oh. Wild, huh? Oh my gosh, do you see this? This is amazing! Natasha Fatal. 
Let's go take some photos. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's look. I think it turned out pretty great. Those of you who wanted to know how I use Crayola Model Magic for costume prosthetics, this one's for you. I hope you learned a little something about how I do it and this helped a lot. If not, you can watch some of those other videos that I suggested. Emmett Kelly, The Snow White Witch, even Marge Simpson. Any of those, if you want to know more about how I use the model magic, go ahead and watch those videos. This turned out better than I had even hoped for, so I'm glad I did it now because <laughs> I wasn't really going to do it. And then I thought, well, that just doesn't seem like a lot, but you're going to need to give yourself some time to do this makeup because it does take a bit of time. But as far as the costume goes, it's comfortable and it's easy and it's cheap. I created this whole look for under $30. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween!